I am Caleb Stevens, uh, and I'm in a project called Of Water. Um, I've been writing music for, I'd say, 15 years. I've been in a handful of different bands. I went to college in Iowa, um, where I had a couple bands. I'm originally from Wisconsin, and then I ended up in Minneapolis, which Iowa, Wisconsin, Minnesota, they're all the same place, in case you're wondering. Um, <laughs> Uh, my project here, after moving to the Nashville area, it really started with um, a couple other musicians, and we uh, we were having a hard time coming up with a with a band name at the time. We were like a live project, and uh, we I can't remember who came up with the idea. One of us came up with the idea to go through all of our lyrics and try to find similar themes that um, might unite some sort of an idea. And water just kept coming up over and over and over again. And uh, I think the original idea f was from the water or something like that. And then I, uh, I really, I really like this band. Uh, they're actually from Athens, Georgia. They're called Of Montreal. I don't know if you guys know them, but um, Kevin Barnes, big inspiration for me, really outlandish, awesome writer that creates worlds in his songs. And I love the idea of putting of before water as if it's like an address for us or something like that. And, um, you know, because that's where like the theme of our stuff comes from. So, um, you know, over the last couple of years, bands change, people fluctuate, move different places. So I'm pretty much running this, uh, this project. It's just me alone right now. But I do have some other guys that play with me live typically, and we still do the full band thing. But yeah, that's how we came up with the name. If you're new to my music, and uh, you're not sure to, what to make of me yet, um, just listen to a few more because I feel like I'm in the stage of development right now that is, is quickly changing. I've got a lot of new music coming out and I think there's a lot of diverse uh, sounds and settings, whether you're into lyrics or um, aesthetics or you know rhythms, there's gonna be a lot of different types of sounds. So hang with me for a while. I think you'll enjoy it regardless of what kind of music you like. And um, you know, if you love music in general, which if you live in Nashville, you probably do, uh, support the, the local scene because there's a lot of cool people out here that I've met in just the two years that I've been here and it's awesome. I mean, it's, there's nowhere like it that I've experienced. Getting, getting plugged into the scene, I met some people in some local bands like uh, Future Crib and Northeast to, uh, Northeast to Freeze and they were all really supportive and cool and um, I, I think I went to their outdoor show during COVID at like Basement, the original Basement. And they were just like, yeah, go to, go to more shows. And, you know, it just kind of grew from there, meeting people at every show, and it's super cool. Very, very accessible scene, I would say. I feel like in Minneapolis, um, there were, like, very steep echelons of the music scene, right? They'd be like, you can get all of your friends together and have a show anytime in Minneapolis. It's not a problem. But to take the step up to, like, the 7th Street entry, which is, like, the back door to this, to, um, First Avenue, which is the big venue, you know? Um, it's almost impossible as like a DIY group. You gotta have some backing, I feel like, or you get a tour for a while. So here I feel like there's a lot of venues and a lot of people, um, obviously like Music Neighbors, that uh, is willing to help you kind of get your footing online and uh, put out some good stuff, so. A lot better scene, I think. I'm